speech at some point.
So hi everybody, my name is Benoit Glaza, uh, this is my house, uh, my lovely wife is out singing somewhere now, so she cannot be here, but uh, actually let me do something that I was supposed to do. I'm, I'm going to get this right at some point. This is concert number 882 or 83, I'm not sure exactly, but we've been doing this for 19 years, a little bit more than 19 years. We have a non-profit called the Tumukwa Arts Foundation, and this is uh, what we call Tumukwa, it's our house. And so I designed and built this place 12 years ago um, because our first house was no longer adequate for the concerts we're having. So we have a month-long um, residency with our artists now. So uh, like on Friday, we have a blues uh, uh, performer coming to play and she's gonna paint live on stage along uh, with the show. And um, uh, I'm not sure the next time she, act actually maybe f Sunday she might actually paint live as well. Uh, we have Joe Bridenstine's uh, qu uh, quintet, it's a jazz quintet, very good players. Um, anyhow, the most important dates you need to remember uh, in the future are November 20th, so Wednesday, next Wednesday, I guess, just a, a little bit more than a week from now. Carl Heinz Schutz is coming to play here. He's the solo flute for Vienna, Phil Vienna Philharmonic. And he's playing with a Japanese uh, pianist. A very, very good concert. <coughs> you would be silly to miss that concert. Uh, I'm just saying. It's really, uh, uh, you know, let your friends know there are still seats available for that. I'm not sure. I think it's a $30 ticket for that. Uh, $15 for students or military or our members because you can be a member of Tunkwa. We have our business members, which I should shut the ad before I forget. Uh, our business members pay $400 a year and they get an ad before every concert. And we have 100 of those, so it's a pretty good deal, <laughs> if you do the math. Um, and uh, what else? The other one that you want to keep in mind is, and you should go to our website, maybe click on the button to join the email list. We send one email a week. Uh, but the other concert is very important that you don't miss is the Manhattan Chamber Players, uh, arguably the best mixed ensemble uh, chamber group in the world. Uh, they're coming here, not to Bach Festival, not anywhere else, they're coming here. Um, they are gonna be in the South, but they're not playing in Florida except for here, and so it's pretty cool. Um, and that's March 2nd. And of course we have more, much, many more concerts, classical music concerts, but we do all kinds of things here. For example, there's a short film festival coming up. We have, uh, we do theater, we do jazz, we do uh, world music of all kinds, all kinds of stuff. And often there's an artist painting live on stage. Uh, Veronica's work is all for sale. I'm gonna like this one as soon as I'm done with my little intro here, because I forgot to do that. Um, but the ones in the lobby, if you, uh, for example, they're little ones, they're not prints, they're originals and they're $30. And so the large, like there's a little bit bigger ones that are $60. So you can own an original piece of art for very little money. Uh, the most expensive ones here are $450. Those uh, medium sized ones are 250. So it's really affordable. We hope that maybe you're gonna think about doing, we don't keep any of that money, by the way. All the money goes to the artist. Uh, maybe some holiday shopping done soon, like now. Uh, <laughs> And if you're interested, I can swipe uh, credit cards and stuff after the concert. I'll be happy to do that. My, uh, just a little bit background, I, I used to be the conductor for the Cirque du Soleil show here, La Nuba, which is now closed, so I'm doing this full time now. And I make benches. These are brand new benches that I've been making. I'm not done yet. Um, and, uh, and basically my kids were in SY FSYU. I've, I had kids in FSYU for 15 years, three kids. Uh, one of whom, like, I think they were 12 years, 12 years, and 13 years or something like that. Like, they were in there for a long time. So, uh, and actually my son, Jean-Marie, just premiered my uh, cello concerto last February with the uh, Philharmonia. And so um, that's pretty cool. I hope to, maybe the piece will get played again. It's a decent piece. I don't know if you saw it. 
So, uh, <laughs> three certified English teacher myself. Uh, <laughs> um, anyhow, so I've uh, talked enough, but uh, you know, our relationship with FSYU uh, has been going on for a long time. It's not stopping, it's not about to stop. I hope that you will spread the word about what we do here and uh, what we do with FSYU together. And, and I'm happy to write more, as soon as the seats are done, and I'm happy to write more music. If you need uh, maybe more music for chamber orchestra, I, I love to write for that, uh, for that format. So uh, anyhow, please help me welcome. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, we're live right now on YouTube. Uh, so I restream all of our events live on youtube.com slash Arts. I have got four cameras. I'm recording and filming everything. I'm going to give them videos of their performance. So be alive. You too. Look alive. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, please help me welcome Henry Klassen. Thank you so much. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Bernard, for um, hosting us again. Um, this chamber music group that you're seeing in front of you uh, this is our, I believe, our maybe eighth week that we are working, and this is already our second program as well. Um, so it's been a quick turnaround for this group, uh, working on two programs. Um, for those of you, the parents, you know, we had our previous program was Immerse City Project, where we rehearsed really nicely with a bunch of bands, and then uh, the big evening came and it started raining and we played, I think, one note. <laughs> and then <laughs> got cut. So uh, um, we we're happy to tonight um, have worked on a program that we are going to play every single last note for you tonight. Um, we will start um, the program with uh, something really properly British, and that is uh, a symphonia by Mr. Boyce. Uh, he lived in the 1800s, uh, was immensely popular in his day, and you'll find a lot of works written by him. Um, this uh, particular work is probably mm, one of the more famous ones. His Fifth Symphony is also pretty famous. Um, he, he himself uh, just uh, knew how to wrote, uh, write for the string instrument, so it's a great piece for us to get our uh, teeth into. So, enjoy. Uh, three movements, by the way. Thank you. 
next we are going to play for you um, kind of uh, just a small little taster of Handel. Um, and I guess one of our questions would be uh, Handel British? Well, Handel spent a very big time of his life in Britain, so much so that his name actually lost the umlaut that uh, in German you usually have on top of the A. Uh, he lost the umlaut and you just spell it without it nowadays. So uh, you must have seen a lot of shopping bags or uh, uh, this thing that you use at the oven, what do you call it, a mitt, that says too hot to handle. Well, it comes from, from, from that. Um, and uh, we're playing you a little saraband. Um, a saraband is typically a slow dance uh, where the second beat uh, is accentuated. So um, it's kind of, it's uh, part of the French suite. Uh, Handel wrote a lot of suites, so, so did Bach, a lot of the Baroque composers did so. So this is just a little taster for you. to our, um, uh, I'd say, our biggest work of the, of the night. Uh, it's a work by Purcell, The Moor's Revenge. Um, and it is basically was incidental music to a play of the same name. Incidental music meaning music that went with the play and in between scene changes and whatever this music was played. The actual play is super confusing. Um, and not even worth telling the story about, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, and uh, that's also why today the, the play is actually completely, nobody does it anymore. The music, though, uh, is still pretty well known. Um, you'll recognize uh, the second movement. Uh, Britton used it as the theme to his um, Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. If you've ever heard that work, you'll, you'll recognize the work. Um, so he, uh, he used the theme that Purcell wrote. Um, there's 10 movements, we're doing, I believe, nine of the 10. Um, and so they, uh, all a bunch of kind of dances, uh, all suitable from that 
kind of era, the Baroque era, at least. Thank you.
we're going to skip a few centuries um, and go to our friend uh, Percy Granger, who um, at the time uh, was kind of like a rock star. Uh, everybody knew who he was in Britain. He, he wrote a lot of things where he used um, folk music um, in what he was doing and kind of brought folk music out of just, I would say, where people are singing it at home to really to the concert hall. Um, this particular uh, work is called Molly on the Shore um, and it's based on two little Irish reels. Um, this is a, an arrangement thereof uh, for for what you see here. There's also quite a few arrangements out there, uh, particularly one that he made for, for, for Full Symphony Orchestra. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So thank you. Thank you. 
so much fun. Um, and this is the time of the night where I am going to let um, these kids do their own thing now. Um, we are finishing with a work by a Czech composer. And again, you're probably going to say um, British. Well, uh, Janacek uh, died kind of uh, 1910, 1912, around there. Um, but within this time, uh, he worked a lot uh, as a composer. He composed quite a lot of operas that he became very famous for. Um, he was also a, a professor of music in Brno. Um, and when I ever I read this, just I always laugh a little bit because uh, when, when I lived in Vienna in Austria, Brno would be where you would go on a Sunday to go and have your nails done. Um, it's that close to Vienna. So to kind of give you an idea, he was very connected to the Viennese life and world, what was happening. Um, so uh, Janacek, uh, of course, went to Britain quite a few times. And this is also in the time where um, doing exercise became a thing. I mean, it's still a thing, I guess. I, I should listen to myself. Um, but uh, it really became popular where people would go to um, gymnasiums and they would start to work out. And a lot of it sometimes were group classes in the swimming pool or they had, um, I don't know, some kind of apparatus that they used and did exercises with. And in this time, uh, somebody asked Janacek to write music for swinging. So um, in a club, the idea is that you would go to this exercise club and you would use those rings that you would jump on and swing around on it. And so this music is really just written for kind of a band that probably sat in, in the corner of the gym and played some music while some people tried to pretend to work out. So I thought it was kind of a funny story. And so I kind of brought it in with the few times Janacek did go to Britain. I thought, oh, you'll enjoy the story, I guess, so we can bring it into our British evening. Um, and so we finish with, I get confused always with the title exactly, Music for Club Swinging Exercise, it's called. <laughs> so enjoy, this is our last uh, piece on, on, uh, on the program. It's been such a pleasure working with kids. I really worked them hard the last four, four weeks, so I feel so proud of what you've done here tonight. You can feel very proud. Um, and I look forward to uh, chamber music in the future with you guys. So take it away. <laughs> Thank you. 
from? There's so many unbelievably beautiful music. Don't you think? Yeah.